If there's one thing I can count on, it's getting a question each week about tank mix partners. And most of those questions are around adjuvants. How do you know which, if any, to use? They claim that they do so much. Adjuvants are defoamers. They're water conditioners. They mask odor in a pesticide tank. Let's take an opportunity to talk about two that are meant to improve pesticide efficacy and performance, stickers and spreaders. Let's do a little experiment. We're going to use water and food coloring in this piece of wax paper to figure out how long it takes to incur runoff. That is when one droplet lands on another droplet, lands on another droplet, until they coalesce to the point that gravity pulls them off the target. Now let's take a look how many pumps it takes with a spreader. You'll also notice there's water sensitive paper behind the wax paper. That's because there's also a surfactant in this product that should help the spray penetrate a waxy layer. So a spreader is designed to reduce the surface tension of the product. What that does is enables the droplet to have more contact with the surface that you're trying to spray. This is a sticker. Its job is to make the product stick to the target. It's better for vertical waxy targets. Let's see how it does on the wax paper. In the end analysis, it took just over 30 squirts of water to reach runoff. For the spreader, it took almost 20, and for the sticker, it took over 40. Some pesticide labels list that you need to add an adjuvant for the product to work as advertised. The reason it doesn't already come pre-formulated is because it'll bulk a product up, it may make the product less stable, and of course it's more expensive. So if you want to try an adjuvant that isn't on the label, make sure you talk to the dealer. They know the most about it. In order to make sure you don't create a physical incompatibility, try a jar test. Otherwise, you could end up with a tank full of jello. Perhaps worse is the chemical incompatibility. In this case, you could inactivate your product or create phytotoxicity and burn your crop. Be careful. For more information about adjuvants, check out publication PPP107 from Purdue Extension. For more information about all things sprayer, Check out www.sprayers101.com. Some labels actually list that you need to tank mix a given adjuvant for the product to work as advertised. If you don't add it, it won't work, and then we're all going to cry and we'll go home angry, and nobody wants that.